Hello, welcome down onto the tech desk. And in today's video, we've got a modification, an RGB modification for our Xbox Series S. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going from this to this. And the way we do that is by using the RGB kit from Extreme Rate. I'll leave links down below of where you can get hold of this kit. Uh, it comes with everything you need. Uh, it comes with this plastic ring, a load of the um, RGBs and cables and stuff, uh, a load of bunch of stickers, a couple of bits of tools, uh, and the remote. You don't need anything else. However, I have got myself a pair of tweezers and a brush. Just this, just to clean it off. And this is just because a couple of bits are fiddly. Um, so this is the second pit I've pack I've had that I've had a go at this already. And a couple of things to notice: it's not particularly hard. Uh, it does take a bit of time. And as soon as you take a screw off, you're going to invalidate your warranty on your S. Okay. So the first two what screws you're going to take off are these back two. Uh, they will have stickers on. As soon as you peel them off, you're going to invalidate your warranty. And if you don't want to do that on your S, uh, don't do this mod. But having said that, it's really one of the easiest um, RGB mods there is. It's just a little bit fiddly with a lot of stickers and it takes a bit of time. Okay, so let's crack on with it then. And as I said, the first two screws you're gonna undo are these two and you're gonna peel the, the stickers off. Um, I haven't managed to get mine back on. They just lost a stick. And just go careful when you take them off, you might be able to put them back on. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab the screwdriver that's inside and you're gonna pop these two off. So once they're off, that's it. You, it's, um, it's not a particularly, uh, it's not a lot of uh, screws for this mod. So you can just put them on, you don't need to worry about them too much. I don't think you'll lose them. And then what you're gonna do is this bottom bit, is just, it just comes off there. And then we're gonna see this back bit here. And you see what X, um, Microsoft have kindly done is they've color coded all of these screws. So what you're gonna do, two of these silver screws, that one and that one. So get them popped out. And then all you see, as you see here, there's a load of like um, green colored screws as well. So there's seven, two, four, six, and seven. You're gonna take all of those seven out using, again, using a screwdriver. And once that's done, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bit off of this back shell here. So if you can see this now, we'll come apart here and here. Now the way to do this is the best way I found it is kind of just pulling it and then pushing it with your fingers. Okay, so getting your thumbs on the edge there, pulling it apart, and just pushing that bit back and then that bit comes out. Okay, so put that to one side, won't be needing that just yet. And then flip it over so you can see the fan bit here. And, and then we can just take this metal sheet off this will just this will just come out with no problems at all okay take that out now it's in here you may or may not want to grab your uh, brush and just give it a bit of a dust because this is where all the dust is going to collect um, I cleaned mine last time so mine isn't too bad but give it a bit of a give it a bit of a clean in there just to make sure that you're going to get all the dust out of the fan area okay and then Finally, you're gonna do as well, this fan, it does come out again. You don't have to do anything, no screws or anything. Just pull it out and just pull it to the side. Don't yank it out, okay? Because it has a clip in there with a cable. So don't do it, just pull it out and rest it to one side. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna get this cable out of here. So down in there, down in there is a cable. So what you're gonna do is just Gently pull on the cable and then that will come out, meaning that your fan will then separate from your Xbox. Once that's out, we're gonna now put the, start with the lights and the circuit board and stuff. And it's this bit, so kind of keep all this out of the way. It's just this bit that you're gonna need to get hold of. So unravel this bit, keep that all out of the way. And you'll see this kind of uh, purpley colored cable this bit is going to plug back into here in the fan of where you pulled that bit out okay so just get that plugged in there okay this is where my tweezers come in handy just to make sure that it is down yep okay so you've got that plugged into there Get the fan, put it back in place. Just lay it down to where it was. And the cable from the fan goes into this bit on the circuit board here. Okay, 
like so. Now we're going to use the first of our stickers. So get this shape sticker here and you're going to stick it onto the flat side of the circuit board here, onto here, like so. So make sure you get that the right way around. Okay, that fits there. So I'm going to take off this side and stick that onto there. Just make sure that's nice and firm and stuck on there. And then what we're going to do now is get this bit here and stick it onto this bit of the fan. So you can see that there's a curve on the circuit board here. That's going to match onto the curve of this bit here. So basically you're going to be sticking it in there like that. Things to watch out for here, this bit fiddly is just keeping these cables, all of these cables out of the way. So the black cable and the purple cable out of the way as you stick it down, just stick it in there. So it's level with here. Okay, so let's take that off. Black and purple cable out of the way. Stick it, stick it down. Okay. Nice. Now a bit of tidying up to do. So this big long single cable here, the one that pokes out of this bit here, this one, you're gonna feed this through. Okay, so underneath there, and feed it through back there through the hole. So if I get this, if I just show you, get it all in place first before I do anything. Under there and then around there. Okay, so this long one long cable is gonna go all the way up there and along there. Okay, so it's under there, under there, under there, under there, under there, and it comes out there. Then gonna poke that bit out of the back where this hole is here in the back. So I'll just do that up here, poke it out there like so. Okay, and then another bit of tidying up is just tidying up these cables here, just making sure that this purple cable and this black cable are hidden out of sight. So the purple cable, you just poke down you could just poke down there like that, and then the black cable could just go a bit further down, down into the center a little bit. Just poke it down, just make sure it's all flat and out of the way, okay? Now here comes a couple of boring bits, I'm afraid. So get your Xbox and turn it kind of this way, and we're gonna leave that there because we're gonna be dealing with the LEDs and stuff. Uh, for starters, the LED, the circle LED, that's what we're gonna start with. So first up, grab this and then let's get this pack of stickers here and you'll see that they are all curved you're going to stick all of these individually around the outside of this uh, kind of plastic circle so let me show you There we go. So you're gonna do that with all of the stickers all of the way around the outside. And once that's done, you're gonna, do, you're gonna peel them all off uh, just to make sure you expose the sticky side of the rings. Do that. Now, once that's done, we're gonna be getting your lights and you're gonna be sticking this, so the sticky side on the same side as the LEDs, okay? So I've got the sticky side on the top here. I'm gonna fold it over and it's gonna go on there. So it's gonna stick with the LEDs pointing upwards, okay? So stick this round very gently. Don't stick on the LEDs, it's kind of just the other side of the LEDs. Okay, so you have it like that. So this is the sticky side of this ring, and then we have the tape on the back of this ring here. Okay, now grab this piece back, we're gonna stick this onto here. And we're gonna be using the stickers on here to put onto there. But there is a special way of doing it. You've got to build it. So this little bit that sticks out needs to point to there. Okay, so it's gonna go on like so. Okay, so all your cables are gonna come out of this side. 
this bit is going to point up there. So what you're going to do is take off this brown tape off the back of your LED ring. And once that's off, just place it on, make sure, as I said, that bit's pointing up towards there and that bit's under there and just press it down just to make sure you've got a, um, a nice seal there. Okay, so that's stuck on. And then grab these bits here, these. So you see these bits here, they've got two cables coming off, off there. And then each one has two strips of LEDs. So we have that one there goes to this one. And then we have another one that kind of branches off to that one, okay? So we'll call this number one and we'll call this number two. Number one is gonna go on the bottom, so on here. And number two, with the bit that sticks out, is gonna go up and onto this edge, okay? And if you look, they are the same size, so it doesn't really matter which one goes where. And you're gonna stick that one in there. And then this one, the number two, is gonna stick up in there, okay? So go ahead, go ahead take off the blue strips on here. And this is the first one, so this is number one. This is gonna be stuck along this bottom bit here, right in the corner. And then the second one, which is on the branching piece, right at the top there, in there. Once they're stuck on there, don't worry about just this, we'll sort this out in a minute. Just come down and do the next bit. Again, so the first bit goes on the bottom, and the bit that branches off goes to the, the top. Then once they're all stuck, you've got all of this kind of cables around here. We can, if you want to, um, you don't, this isn't necessary, but it nice and neats it up. Just gonna stick those bits in the side here using some of these stickers. Okay, so we're gonna peel them off like so stick them on the inside of here and just stick the cable to them, okay? This is probably the fiddliest part of the whole procedure. Okay, see, I've stuck one on the inside there, and then I'm just going to take the other side off and just stick that cable to it. Right, so that's now sticky, then just get that cable and Press it to the sticky pad to keep it out of the way. Like I was saying, this is probably the fiddliest part of this whole procedure, getting this one done. And then do it on the other side, onto this, the back end of this piece here. Here we go, this is where the tweezers come in really handy for this bit. And again, just get this cable here and just stick it to stick up. Then with a couple more of these stickers here, we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but for this bit of cable here along this edge by the fan. Okay, so I've used two there. There's one just there and there's one just there. Take those sticky pads off and just stick this cable to it. Then once that's done, uh, I'm afraid it's another laborious piece because we're gonna be going all around this again. So this circle here, we're gonna stick these black stickers all the way around, just one strip all the way around that circle there, just covering the LEDs there. Okay, so let me just put one on to show you. Like so. So you're gonna go all around here by just putting this black tape over the LEDs and this plastic circle here. So do that all the way around there. Then 
There we go. It doesn't have to be particularly neat. If you see, mine isn't very neat at all, but hey ho, it doesn't matter. Now, what you can do is going to get four of them, it's four of these here, and you're going to put a layer of one, 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 two, and three, and four. So two here and two here. There you go. Again, shouldn't worry too much about neatness here. Just make sure that they're nicely stuck down all the way round. And finally, the only other cable really is to tie it up is this one. And you might have a load of spare ones like me here. So I'm just gonna use one of these. I'll just stick that down there. Keep it nice and neat and out of the way. Okay, so that's all your that's all your cables done. That's all nice and out. And now we need to do the fun bit and rebuild it all. So go back onto your fan bit and just make sure if all of your cables here, the black one and the purple one, if they've all come out, just make sure they're all poked in out of the way again and get your metal piece and it should just again just slide on. And then we're going to put this back into here. So again, I find if you put it in there like that into the back bit, hold it up, pull these two bits to the side and squeeze it towards you. like so, we're in. And then we're gonna put these screws back in. So we're gonna start off with the seven green ones into the seven places where they came out of, which was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Once they're in, two silver screws, one and one, get them back in. And then finally, get this back on, so get it in, push it in, really simple, flop it over, and then you've got your two black screws that need to go into there. Now you notice you've got this flappy bit here. This can just be stuck down if you want to. If you've got a choice, you might have a load of spare one of these, and you might have some spare ones of these. I'm going to use these ones. These are the double-sided ones just because I've got them spare and they're easy. So if I just stick that anywhere along the back, like so, keeps it out of the way, like so. And there we go, there we, there we go, we've done it. So now the desk is clear, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test it now. So what you're gonna do is plug your S back in and then turn it on and it might start up. If it doesn't start up, you'll need to hit the button on the remote, but it might just start up. So what we're gonna do is just, just gonna knock the uh, lights down a bit. I'll uh, give you a full demo in a bit, but I just want to explain the remote to you. Okay, so turn the Xbox on because it does need power. Um, so here's the remote here. Uh, you have an on-off button here. We have this, which will go through all of the effects one after the other. Um, that is the effect up and that is the effect down and that is the brightness. So if you click that, you can change the brightness down and then click that will change the brightness up. You see they're getting brighter. And then the top arrow will change to the modes. So you can change all different colors if you want to. Let's get to a nice one. There we go, so we get the full full effect here. Or if you just wanted it to um, show off, you're gonna click that uh, circle with the arrow that, and it will do a pattern for you. And then if I bring over here, it also does it there as well. There are 39 effects, so what you do is just choose the one that you like the best. Uh, for me, it's the multicolored one, that's what I prefer, I have it on. There we go, that one there. And, and then it has the multicolored effects there as well. Can you see that? Really nice, a very, it's a simple mod. It does take a bit of time, but it is a really simple, nice, effective mod for your S. Okay, what I'll do is then, I'll leave links down below of where you can get hold of this kit. 
go and have a look down in the links below for the latest price on it. Get this done because I think this is a great mod to be getting on with for starters on your Series S. Really like the look of this. Okay, that's it then. Please do stick your thumbs up. Please do like, please do subscribe. And to the next video, bye-bye.